It's uh, our rival, Rio Grande rivalry. It's also our dig pink. See, I'm supporting the uh, cause today. Uh, we've got a lot planned for tonight. It's uh, besides the rivalry. Uh, there's a number of things going on at the game. There's uh, raffles and drawings, and um, I believe they're giving away two Southwest airline tickets anywhere in the U.S. Uh, uh, an iPad. Uh, for you gamers and Xbox Connect, I think. A um, bunch of things going on. So lots of reasons for our students to come out and try and get something fun to take home. But um, we do the, our, our pink game is done for the University of New Mexico Cancer Hospitals. And, and uh, annually, we've been able to raise about $5,000 on this night to donate over there. And uh, Jordy Hadfield uh, spearheads that, and she does a great job with it. Um, New Mexico State, uh, they're a really good team that struggled lately. Um, they are led by Meredith Hayes, outstanding uh, sophomore outside hitter. It'll kind of be a battle of the sophomores tonight. We're led by Chantel Riddle, and uh, both players really play huge roles for their team, so it's going to be the two sophomores going at it tonight. Um, they're a little different look. They play what's called the 6-2 offense. They run two setters, have three hitters in the front row all the time. Um, like I said, I, on paper and when I watch them on film, they look like a really good team. They've struggled lately and uh, are having one of their, I would say, d more down years in their conference this year as compared to most recently. But, but they're still, I think, 14 and 7 or 14 and 8. And, um, you know, volleyball in New Mexico has, has gotten good. And, uh, we're, we're at a place where um, both schools are good. Our high school volleyball has improved immensely. Uh, players from here are being recruited all over the country. And um, it makes all of it great. And, and uh, we have a great rivalry with State. Uh, I'm very good friends with Mike. It's, it's, a, it's a nice rivalry. We play each other a number of times in the spring as well. And it just all helps make everything better. And so I'm excited about our match tonight and, and also what's happening with with New Mexico volleyball right now. Um, Thursday, you know, I really want to focus more on our conference race because, as Frank said, it's it's kind of crazy right now, and um, we get back on it Thursday, and and that's our focus because that's what's going to get us to postseason. And um, we have UNLV on Thursday. Uh, they're a half game or a game ahead of us. The first time we played them uh, was in the middle of Mikel Lovato's. Uh, virus and, and all our injuries, and we're hoping we'll be a little healthier this time and put together a little ma little better match with them. Close games last time, but we just didn't feel like we played well. On Saturday, we get Fresno State, and, and I really think when you look across their roster and their lineup, uh, besides Colorado State, they might be the strongest team in the conference offensively, and so we have a lot to work on for that match on Saturday. Uh, by the way, Saturday's match is back over at Johnson Center at 6. Um, other than that, like I said, I, uh, last week we um, lost a thriller at San Diego State. We said we had to get one on the road, but we lost 17-15 in the fifth. It was disappointing because we'd be in first if we had it, but, uh, but I thought we played well. I thought it was the best match we played on the road in terms of uh, battling and staying in it, and then went to Nevada and then really put together a nice match and beat them in three. And, uh, came back in a place where we were still uh, in contention and could still battle for the conference championship. So, any questions? Whether you have to have a sense of urgency, I think you also have to uh, really be careful what you're doing with your team. This is the point where you know you're in your last three or four weeks, people are tired and you got to keep them fresh. You got to have fresh bodies on the court to win these big games. And, uh, you know, it's it's going to be interesting. Uh, UNLV is like us. They're really low on players. I would say they're an injury away from being in big trouble, <laughs> you know, but I, I, I don't know that we're not either. But each time we've had one, we've survived. So, um, but yeah, they're playing seven or eight kids and, and they don't really have any bench either. So. 
you know, some of us are really looking at how to get through the last four weeks and and uh, don't have a lot of depth because of things that have happened. But um, our players are handling it well. I, I think they're as fresh as they've been right now, so hopefully we'll be able to keep rolling. Coach, could you elaborate on the speed, the power, and that hustle of your team? <laughs> and every ball is yours, and the effort is, uh, is very important. I, I, you know, I think there are teams that are better offensively. There are teams that are better defensively. We've got a good mix, though, uh, between the two things, and we have great chemistry. Our kids, uh, it seems like the more that's thrown at them, the tighter they get. Um, the defense was great this weekend on the road, and we came up with some big plays to stay in tough matches. Um, offensively, Chantel Riddle leads the way, and um, she's dynamic. She's uh, on track to have a shot to break our all-time kills record offensively uh, as a sophomore. And uh, I think she's got a great shot at a lot of postseason honors and stuff. So we do have a premier player like that who, who gets after it. And is, you hear the crowd kind of uh, ooh and ah when she hits it and, and, and also blocks. So. With MSU running the 6-2 tonight, is that something that you uh, we, yeah, we've seen it twice before. Um, it presents just a problem in that you've got three attackers all the time, and so you, your your blockers have to be a little more focused, a little more on task. But if we can serve well, we can kind of uh, uh, you know take them out of that and, and force the ball to go to certain areas, and that's what we're shooting for tonight. Anyone else? Thank you. Have a good week.